Hello, Music Worcester fans. We are here in the studio with pianist Simona Dinnerstein, who we have the great pleasure of having so much time with in this, our 160th anniversary season, the 2018-2019 season. Welcome back, Simona. Thank you, Adrian. <laughs> so you have several main performances this year, and the last one is something the likes of which I don't think Worcester has ever seen. Music Worcester has certainly not done. And it's a performance that will feature four pianos on stage and an ensemble collaborating with you. And while most of the work being presented are by Bach, uh, other composers will be represented as well. More on that in a second. And it will be you with three of your colleagues as concerto soloists and... Baroquelin, what what exactly is going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I have always enjoyed playing with other pianists, and I did actually do a tour of these Bach concertos in Germany a few years ago, and I thought it was a really a lot of fun. Uh, it's sort of like seeing four dinosaurs on stage <laughs> together, you know. Um, but I thought it would be interesting if it could be slightly broken up because hearing multiple pianos for, for two hours can be a bit much. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to break up the concertos with works that have something to do with Bach but might not be Bach necessarily. Um, so we're going back and forth. We're doing concertos for one, two, three, and four pianos by Bach. That's amazing. And then doing some unusual things in between. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned Germany um, in the performances there. This also had a, a U.S. play uh, about a year ago, and that was at the Miller Theater in Columbia. How did you get them to say yes to so many pianos on stage? <laughs> oh, they were really interested in that. <laughs> they actually jumped to it. So that was the debut of this program was last year, and I created Brooklyn for that program. Oh, wow. And now Brooklyn is starting to have a life of its own. Oh, that's so yeah. fantastic. Yeah, so fantastic. and I, I, I thought of the name Brooklyn because I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> well. How could listeners who might be familiar with many works of Bach, uh, the works, w let's say the works get, that get played more often, how could they approach this program? Is there any listening you would suggest? Is there any feedback you would have to our patrons to prepare for this experience of works that probably most have never heard live, never mind on recording? Mm. Well, Bach did a lot of transcriptions of his own works. So um, the concerto for two pianos in C minor, which I'll be playing on this program, is also the concerto that he wrote for violin and oboe. Oh. And many people know the concerto from that format for violin and oboe. The concerto for four pianos is actually a concerto written by Vivaldi, and then Bach arranged it for four keyboards. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's interesting, you know, he kind of takes credit for it. But <laughs> <laughs> now I have to ask, with so many cooks in the kitchen on this, four concerto solos yeah. on stage, and so much, a wall of sound, I imagine, who leads? Um, well, I'm kind of the leader, <laughs> uh, but my concert master is also fantastic, uh, Rebecca Fisher. She uh, was, for many years, the first violinist of the Chiara String Quartet, and we became friends many years ago when we were fellows at Tanglewood. In fact, everybody in Baroquin, they're all chamber music players. They all belong to string quartets or chamber ensembles. And that makes them a particularly collaborative group of people. So though I say I'm leading or Becca is leading to, um, we're all listening to each other and it's, it's very, um, it's extremely collaborative. Yeah. Your fellow soloists on this program, uh, one of the names we certainly know well, our uh, Dodge and Pratt, the other two uh, also are have lives as composers, and mm -hmm. their work will be represented on the program as well. Well, the other two, Dan Tepfer is a jazz pianist, um, 
but he also plays a lot of Bach. In fact, he's done a fantastic version of the Goldberg variations where he plays a variation and then does an improvisation on the variation. And in this concert, he's doing something that he's developed recently where he uses a Yamaha disc clavier, which is a, a piano that can be programmed and so it's a grand piano, it's an acoustic instrument, but he's able to program a certain algorithm in it so that it imitates what he just did. So he starts playing and the piano remembers what he just played and plays that again, and then he improvises off of that. It's, I can't even describe it. He's, he's also <laughs> like a, I think he's a physicist as well. So oh, he's a very, very smart guy. Yeah. Um, and so he'll be using Bach's works for his improvisation, but the piano will be improvising with him. And it's quite extraordinary to see. All right. I think we need to give some space to publicizing that and the technology part of this program, my goodness. Definitely, yeah. And he, he actually does a lot with visuals with it too. He's created a way of having um, the computer create certain visual effects as a response to whatever it is he's, he's doing in the piano. It's quite interesting. Wow. Um, and then the other pianist is the fabulous composer Philip Lasser. And Philip is a composer that I've been friends with for a long time. I've played many works of his, and I've commissioned works. He, he wrote a piano concerto for me a few years ago, which I recorded on my album, Broadway Lafayette. Um, and he also is a beautiful pianist. So he's the fourth pianist in the concerto for four pianos. And then he and I are playing a piece of music that he wrote where one person plays a Bach prelude and fugue, and the other person is playing Philip's composition, which is superimposed over that prelude and fugue. And it's a very beautiful piece. Wow, wow. So Sunday, March 17, we hope to see all of our supporters and patrons there at Mechanics Hall. Full details, musicworcester.org, and thank you so much, Simona. Thank you. Thank you.